So this is the UFC Performance Institute, also known as the PI. It's a $14 million facility. Duncan French is going to show us around. He's the Vice President of Performance here at the Institute. So this is our, you know, nutrition consultancy room. Right. Obviously, weight cutting sport and uh, sorry, weight weight classification sport. So guys are doing weight descents, weight cuts to make weight and things like that. But uh, just giving them some information where they can be super intentional around their own body composition, okay. their own metabolism is a crucial part of what we do. So yeah, there's been a lot of investment here at the PI on um, diagnostic capabilities around nutrition and and, and dietetics. Um, Starts with this, which is our DEXA, um, which is the gold standard for body composition. Yeah. So this is like an X-ray machine that you would get if you broke a bone in the hospital, but it also has the capabilities to pick up soft tissue as well, so fat mass and muscle mass, um, which the guys obviously are really interested body fat, in. Percentage. Body fat, yeah. Not so like the calipers. No, well, I mean we do the calipers, but this is this is way more accurate um, and reliable. And what's, the, what's the accuracy of a caliper? Oh, that's a great question. It depends on the person that's doing it. Well, you heard it. Plus or minus 15 percent. No, that seems a lot. Yeah. Uh, you've got a crappy person doing it. <laughs> but this is going to be super accurate. Yeah, like, time, yeah. right? I'm four percent one day. Yeah. And I'm 20, uh, yeah. 19 yeah. percent the next day. You know, there's all those four percenters around. Right. Four percent. Right? <laughs> well, this will give you your, your Yeah. So this is gold standard for body comp, and then yeah. this is our metabolic cart. Right. So with this, we can look at basal metabolic rates and right. look at caloric expenditure. How fast does your body burn energy? Yeah. Um, and again, that's a real important conversation for weight cuts. If someone's got high metabolism, mm -hmm. you can obviously strip weight quicker. Right. If you've got a slow metabolism, you've got to be conscious of that and you're going to have to have a longer strategy, you know? And how are you going to find out how fast the metabolism is? Well, that's done by gas, gas analysis. Right. So we'll put them at rest for about 15 to 30 minutes, just right. lying in a nice cool dark room right. um, and essentially they're nice and still almost going to sleep right. um, and we'll just look at the gas analysis the types of carbon dioxide and oxygen that they're utilizing and from there we can put equations in that tell you um, their metabolic rate. And is there a percentage of carbon dioxide that's released more so than with too mineral hydrogen? Yeah, it's, it, right? yeah it's, it's basically how you use fat so right. you know your metabolism or those low intensities yeah. is related to how your body fuels you know, maintaining the heart rate and those types utilizes fat at those right. lower intensities and the speed at which you utilize that fat and carbon dioxide, carbon hydrate as well will tell you, uh, you know, what your metabolic rate is and that's, that's to, you know, figured out from the gas analysis you get from oxygen and carbon, carbon dioxide. So I'm getting my carbs and I my did carbon not dioxide know mixed that. up. I didn't know that one. <laughs> And these are the, these are the masks then? Right? Yeah, they're just masks and then right. we do some urine analysis as right. well. Um, you know, looking at urine specific gravity for hydration primarily. Urine, urine specific gravity? Yeah, yeah. So the, concent the concentration of your pee basically, right. you right. know, how much fluid is in there versus right. how much solid is in okay. there. Um, and again, when you're dehydrated, that changes that ratio and it tells us if, you know, if, you, if we take someone's weight, yeah. if it's a wet weight or yeah. a dry weight, it's going to, again, tell us more information about how hard a weight cut is going to be. Okay. Um, so, you know, all that information is super crucial when weight fighters are trying to make weight. And what way do you analyze the urine? Do you spin it or do you just let No, it we just pee in a bottle and we put it through a re what's called a refractometer. Right. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's something that you just look at the particles. Um, in, in the solution, mm. um, and we have you know dipsticks and things that you can look at different types of um, you know salts and things in the right. pee, uh, but very very straightforward and pretty common um, in, in in other academic settings. But what we're doing is taking the sports science from academic settings and put it into applied setting. And that will then affect what diet or yeah, so all of this information all together. So there's no one answer that's right. going to tell it. Oh, we do the DEXA, right? You know, this is what you need to do. It's okay. a combination of information that gives a complete picture around an athlete, right. um, and, and gives us real information how the fighter needs to make their weight descent to obviously fit into their weight class. Is there is there a point where someone will come in and they want to be in a particular weight class, and you'll say no? So that's not for us to decide. Right. Uh, it happens right now, you know, okay. there's, there's guys, Anthony, Anthony Smith's a great example, right. you know, so he was a middleweight and he's just moved up to light heavyweight right. and he came here and he, we gave him a ton of information but the decision is ultimately the fighters. Okay. We're not going to say yes or no you need to be in this weight class or the weight class above. Okay. What we're going to do is give the athlete and their coach as much information as we can so they can make an informed decision. Perfect. What we can also do is take information from the performance floor in terms of strength, power, endurance metrics 
and give you kind of that performance side of it. So you can not only compare your body composition against your competitors, right. but you can also compare your performance and say, well, I've got lots of muscle mass and my strength um, strength levels are similar to the other middleweights or the other light heavyweights. And you give them something to gauge off? Right, yeah. So we don't, not the particular person. No, we don't give them yeah. like absolute data. What we've created is benchmarks. Right. So we've looked the at average. the average and the distribution around the average okay. in that weight class. And then they can see where they sit relative to the average or above average or in the very good or you know world class right. kind of level. And you have that downstairs? We have all that information on Look the way, yeah, on the floor. Yeah. All right, cool.